So this is the pose that is referred to in the Yoga Sutras where it says posture should be steady and comfortable, should be sweet and balanced. Stira Sukha Asanam. So stira steadiness, lining up our bones, arranging ourselves so that we are aligned and relaxed. And then bringing an ele element of sukha, of sweetness, of ease. Let the structure of the bones support your breathing. Let your nervous system register calm. Experimenting with hands facing up or down, depending on how we feel today. Just notice the energy of the hands. Let your face relax, your shoulders draw down off your ears. Everything gently lengthened in the spine. Relax and enjoy your breathing. Soften your eyes. Connect to the sound of the breath through the nose with sound. Just let your breath do its thing for a few moments. Really reaching in with some deep Inhaling and exhaling, just to release tension, find space. And using the breath to come into the here and now, this moment, the breath touches the present. And then let's practice some alternate breathing, bringing your dominant hand to your face, or you can do it with your hand. Resting the first two fingers at the third eye or folding. So your own favorite way for Nadi Shodana. Nerve cleansing, nerve shining. So we'll start with an inhale on the right side. So gently close the left side. Sit tall and relax. Breathe in a count of five. Breathe out, count of five to the left. Doing the back and forth style today. Inhale from the left, two, three, four, five. Exhale, right, two, three, four, five. One more time this way, right inhale. And left exhale. Then we begin on the left for the other side. Inhale left. Exhale to the right. Let the breath have a calming quality. Right inhale. Two, three, four, five. Left exhale. Two, three, four. Five. Last time. Take your time. Enjoy left to right. And when that is complete, release your hand. Breathe deeply through both sides. Straighten out your arms, tuck your chin. You can connect your index and thumb together, the tips if you like. We'll return to this at the end of practice today. Even deep breathing through the nose. Once more, come to an inhalation. And in that inhale space, engage your bandha. So we have the throat bandha already, chin to the chest, engage your low belly, lift in the pelvic floor, and then slowly release, lift your chin, release all of that energy. Fingertips to the eyebrows, just below, press in and up. And then trace up your forehead, cross your head, back down your head, sweep your jaw. Just learning that little refresh, coming to your center. Let your arms rest into your heart and your chest. 
have a moment of quiet for your own space, intention. All the while connecting to the breath and the body. And then coming together in sound, breathe in deeply. Um. Nice big breath in. Exhale, release your arms. Bring your arms up overhead, engage your low belly. Cross your wrists and bring your hands together. Try the bend and straighten move a few times. Let's do what you can. Go to sit up nice and tall here. Reach up, breathe in. And breathe out, twist towards the right side. So it won't be your biggest twist, just let it be the right amount, the compassionate amount. Feel your core strength. One more time, give it energy, reach, and then carefully release your arms to easy twist. Have a little bit more space to look back. Rest into your hand. Breathe into each of our shapes. One more time through the exhale, give space. Inhale to center. Arms up, other wrist in front. Bring your fingers together. So shoulders are down, arms reach as much as they will. Core is strong. Bend your elbows and straighten a few times. Just explore the movement. Have a curiosity towards the practice. Inhale, energize, reach. Exhale, twist to the left. Trying to create that steady softness in each pose. Notice a little determination in your breathing in this variation. And when you breathe out, carefully release arms down to easy twists and let your breath relax as you look back with support. Use the breath to release any knots in the body. Once more, deep breath in. And release back to center. Exhale, release that time. <clears throat> Heart lift pose, fingers forward, lean back, release your legs. Bring your toes to the floor. Lift your heart. Find that outward spiral energy in your hands. Start to float your feet up. Just let them rest into each other. Bring your shins parallel to the floor. Relax what you can. Take another deep breath. And then bring your feet down. Let your knees widen. Press your palms. Malasana. Breathe into the low back. Just be present with the calming quality of these yoga in our hands. When we rest the hands into each other, breathe out once more, gently deepen. And then release, cross your feet, draw them in and come back to your tabletop. Cushion your knees if you need. Have a moment to spin your wrists and hands, just let them Find space, spread your fingers wide, stretch your wrists that way, and then curl your fingers and rest the other way, and relax. Spread them open upon the earth, just like our feet, they're so intelligent. Work into your tabletop and draw your belly up, ground your feet, tops into the earth. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, toes tuck, pull back. Inhale, rise up to your knees, reach up. And exhale, arms wide, forward fold. Doing a little floor sun salutation. Arms to the sides and then back to the table position. 
Inhale, cow spine. Exhale, child's pose. Slow breathing. Right leg forward, low lunge. We'll come for five. Hands down. Lift at your chest. So you can do variations with your hands to reach the floor. One more time, deep breath. Maybe back to Balasana, child's pose, just one breath. Soften into the floor, release. Inhale, lift up and step your other leg forward for the low lunge. So you determine the space between your feet. Fingers down. One more time, deep breath. Back to child's. Inhale, cow. Exhale, Adho Mukha, downward dog. Let your knees stay bent. Lengthen your spine. Five breaths. So you might shift yourself a little bit up and forward to expand for your inhale. Exhale, we back to the legs. Keep them knees bent this time. Long spine, exhale. And then five breaths, working on straightening the legs a bit more. Reach your heels towards the earth. Have a few moments to alternate bending your knees just to reach one heel at a time. Nice uplift in the low belly. Let that become a natural part of this pose. Exhale, both heels down. Two more breaths. Head releases. Last time, exhale, weight back into the legs. And knees down, inhale to cow spine. Exhale to round back, cat spine. Bring your knee, your right knee towards your nose. Keep rounding. And then extend your spine and your leg, reach back. Curl in, breathe out. Inhale, lengthen. One more time, energize both directions. Go as deeply as it feels nice. Reach through that leg behind and settle back down. Cow spine, gentle, gentle heart lift. Cat spine, deep flexion. Breathe in, draw your left knee towards your nose deeply. And breathe out, reach back. Inhale, round. Exhale, reach. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. One more time. You have a nice energy to that reach back. And then release. Cow spine. Cat spine. Toes tucked downward dog. One breath. Inhale, step forward, half lifting. Exhale, fold forward, release your spine. And inhale, come up to stand, rise, reach. Hands back to your heart as you breathe out. Have a moment to find your feet, find that sense of ease in standing, even standing, samas. Listen to your breathing, eyes steady. Reach up for the sun, wide arms, inhale. Lengthen your throat, hands together. Breathe out, forward fold, wrap your legs, fold in. Each pose just the right amount for today. Half lift, inhale, have a little determination. Find that place where it's just right. Exhale, spread, go back, both legs back, Halakasana. Hold the earth, strong tummy. Once more, breathe in. And then bring your knees down and lower to the earth, hugging your elbows. Stretch your body long on the floor. 
starting with a baby cobra pose today. So looking at building cobra, gather your legs and feet together and ground them. So you should feel your glutes working a little bit around your sacrum. Hands by your chest, just peel your heart up off the floor. Just a small amount. Feel your belly as you breathe. We're pressing the pelvis forward, shoulder blades draw together and down. I right, steady off the nose. One more breath, strengthening your back. And release. Inhale again, see if you can lift up a little bit more of your belly. Be kind. Keep your elbows drawing in. It might not look that much different from the first one and that is just fine. One more time. So we really have a lot of our body on the floor in Cobra. And release down. Relax, turn your head to the right, take a breath. Keep your hands where they are. Turn your head to the other side. Take a deep breath. Just diffusing that back in energy a little bit. And return to center. Press forward and down into downward facing dog pose. Five breaths, third one, exhale. One more big breath flowing through. Exhale, weight back into the legs. Inhale is all the way to half lift pose, stepping forward, lengthening the spine. Nice big exhale, draw in your low belly and forward fold. Release completely. And inhale, rise and reach. Enjoy the process, feel it. Breathe out when you're ready, back to your heart center. Free breath. Inhale up and gently back. So think about that cobra. Press the pelvis forward, just do a little back bend. Exhale, strong belly brings you to forward fold. Draw the belly up, head down. Half lift, inhale. Classical style, right leg stepping back only. Come to Anjani Asana. Reach up your arms, so let your knee come towards your toes. Shoulders down. So the shoulders in this pose and up and in warrior A, there's a spiral going, or a circle of energy going back and down the back. And then there's a lengthening in the throat and the chest. One more time, breathe in Anjaniyasana. Breathe out, release your arms, take your leg back. Looking at upward facing dog. So in upward dog, our arms hold our weight, our belly's off the floor, and we create that back bend. Strong, straight arms. Keep your knees down. Roll your shoulders back. Just be present with where your weight is and with where your back bend is. Just the right amount. And then slowly move to table to release. Tuck under your toes, hips up. Five breaths. Making friends with this play bow. Always feeling free to do the quarter dog shape if you ever need to for any reason. Getting our spine long, releasing tension. One more breath. Exhale, weight draws back, belly draws up. I lunge second flat or lunge second flight on Jenny Asana. Take a moment to find that shape. Let your knee travel forward. And then take up your arms, rest your hands together. Shoulders rolling back and down the body. Chest broad, throat open. Use both of your feet here for stability, as well as your goddess. Soften into the shade and take one more breath in the depth of your pose for today. Exhale again. Inhale to step forward. 
Exhale to fold forward. Press your feet, rise and reach. Let the breath match the movement. When your own exhale returns, bring your hands down to your heart. Feet underneath the hips. Elephant pose, rest your elbows and hands together. Sink your hips low. Rest your thumbs at your third eye. Stability, groundedness, nice open feet. Breathe out, go low. Breathe in, release. And breathe out with your toes turning out a little bit into forward fold. So just changing our forward fold position a little bit with the toes turning out a bit. Take your elbows. Let your head and spine hang down. Make sure you're balanced. And just try veering off center a little bit towards the right with your arms and spine. Relax even as you face a new balance challenge. Try not to grip your feet, let them spread. And then veering over towards the left side for some breaths. Please bend as they need to. Let your spine hang long. Draw your low belly up. Notice how firm your feet press into the earth. So grounding. Notice when you breathe in, breathe out, come to center and just hang free. Last time, breathe out. And then return your hands up to your waist, press your feet to stand up. And let's check into turned out toes to the side. So come to goddess pose, turning out your toes and bending your knees over your ankles. Find your own space between your feet. Come nice and down the center. Move your fingers together, stretch your chest. Lengthen your throat a little bit, but keep a downward gaze. Exhale this side. Inhale, straighten your legs and arms, star. Front ribs down. Notice that weight pouring into the earth. And then come back into goddess, move your fingers the other way, see so balance in the chest and shoulders. It's optional to add a heel lift here if you'd like to try that. To even further concentrate that pressing of our weight into the earth. Relax your heels down if you have them lifted. Take another breath with your arm position. And then inhale, straighten out to star one breath. Exhale, side lunge to the right. So just find a comfortable angle of your knee towards your toes. Press your palms, really use your legs. Breath is steady in each pose, stilling your consciousness. And a firm press off your foot when you breathe into the other side. Lengthening your torso, press your hands together. And just be present with that intelligence in your feet, all those muscles, it's coordinating. Feel the strength of your legs and breathe out one more time. Inhale, press up. Turn your heels out so you have parallel feet and breathe out, forward fold. Bring your head towards the earth, release tension, draw your belly up. Walk both arms over to your right leg, just find a comfortable wrap around and Lengthen and breathe. Releasing tension from the body. One more time, breathe out. 
Make your way over to the other side. So that opposite side arm gives a nice big reach. So you feel a nice opening across your latissimus, big muscles of your upper body. All the while the breath is steady and present. Nice little uplift in low belly and pelvic floor. Breathe out once more. Gently find a little more space. Inhale to center. Exhale, bow. And inhale again, standing back up. Right leg turns out, reach your arms, triangle. Breathe out as you're ready, over and down. Land and open. So we have, we challenge our bodies and stay peaceful with our breathing, using mindfulness, the energy of mindfulness. Exhale one more time, draw your low belly towards your spine and that gives you stability in your center as you rise and change sides. Over time, you know exactly how to turn out. You're always checking in with your body each day. Keep it a little bit soft, but full of determination as well. Stira Sukha Asana. One more time with the exhale. Inhale energy up, turn your feet the same way. Breathe out, release, and step back to the front of your mat. And then let's take a ball triangle pose. Right leg steps back, find your balance. Same legs as Parsva Tanasana. Breathe in, extend your right arm vigorously. Forward fold, breathe out. So your right hand can be anywhere, but it's working towards coming across to the outside. I love putting it on the shin or foot. Open out to the side, so that hand on your foot or shin really grounds that leg and keeps it steady. Anywhere in this arc, just be where you are. Where is it positive? Everybody has their own definition of what a nice twist feels like. Breathing in one more time, give it energy. And breathe out, unwind, relax into that exhale. Inhale, come up, shoulders back, other side. Step forward, step back. Land. Then add the upper body reach. Forward fold. So as you forward fold, engage the bodhis. Choose your hand position. And then second part is establishing twist. So as much as it feels good to open to the side. You can really leverage with your bottom hand to create the twist. One more time, a little determination, grow a little bit. Breathe out, unwind, relax. Come up, roll your shoulders back. And bring your front knee out over your ankle. Create a little more space between your feet for warrior A. So that energy of the shoulders circling back and down, shoulder blades down the back. Just feel that for a moment. You want a broadness in the chest and the throat as we take up the arms. Shoulder blades down and together and back. Breathe out. Inhale to warrior B. Open to side with your back foot. Turn your head. Arms float. Mind floats on the breath. If something draws your attention away, just gently return. Breathe out, release your back hand to your leg. Turn your front hand palm up 
and inhale straight up to the sky. Keep your legs steady. Eyes reach towards that hand, energize. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, relax. Release everything to the side and then step forward to take the other side. Warriors, Sarah Badrasana. A first, hips forward, front knee bends. Find your foundation. Have a moment to think about an, a circle of energy that brings the shoulders back and down, shoulder blades down towards each other. Broad chest in, throat, arms up, breathe in. Anchor your front ribs down a little bit so you don't overly back bend. Fourth breath, just one more time. Inhale, invigorate. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Breathe in, open to warrior B, back toes release. Turn your head. There's still that same energy in the shoulders there. Drawing down the back of the body. But we also want a sense of broadness in the front and back in this shape. Feel yourself settle and calm into the pose as you finish your last breath. Back hand to the leg. Front palm up, breathe in straight to the sky. Let your eyes follow your reach. So we really just try to fill them, each pose with our energy. You bring the life and light to the poses. Each pose is an energetic form. One more breath. And exhale, release, turn to the side, and step towards the top of your mat. Practicing the message of Shiva pose. Um, bring balance into your right leg, find the use of support. Or you can keep your toes on the ground. So the left leg either comes behind the calf or comes behind the foot. So you can just have your foot on the floor. We should all be able to work with that possibly, but be safe if you need it. Um, so wrapping that back foot, and on that bent knee side, the palm faces forward, fingers down. On the other side, the hand faces forward, fingers up. Concentrate, breathe five times. Gestures of mercy and protection. One more time, give energy to your shape. And as you breathe out, soften and let those actions go. Other side, bring it weight into the left leg. So toes on the floor, wrapping behind or wrapping behind your calf. Fingers down on that bent knee side. Fingers up the other side. Steady. Deeply breathe one more time, creating courage in our hearts. Release. Bend your knees, reach your arms. Exhale to forward fold. Half lifting, breathing in. Feel that weight shift forward in the feet and the gaze. Exhale, spread your hands, legs back. Upper facing dog again, arms strong and straight. Use the belly forward. And this time, possibly lift your knees. Engage your bandhas. Those gaze. One more time, deep breath, stretch your belly. And then flip over your feet, lift your hips high, downward dog, last turn. Let's have that three leg lift for a nice hip opener. Bring your right leg up towards the sky, heel towards the sky. 
Then turn your leg to the side from your hip and you can let your head and your torso follow. Reach through that leg. Add the knee bending. Feel that blood flow coming into your head, into your senses. Breathe out, release. Other side. Three leg dog lift. Work where it feels positive. Give some energy, space for your hip joint. Relax your head. Third breath. Notice your hands pressing evenly once more. Exhale, carefully release. Take your knees wide, untuck your toes. Come back to wide like child's pose. Wide knees. Let your head rest. Deeply breathe into the back of your body. Once more. Inhale, rise up, walk your hands forward. Bring your knees closer and lower to the earth. Just one forearm at a time. Spread your body out, sphinx position, taking the yin style back then now. Just take a moment to settle onto your belly and your elbows. So work your arms further away if it's too intense. And here we're, we're letting the legs just be grounded and open. So we take out any effort, using this first amount of time just to check in with how it feels. So we're gonna just let the body relax into the shape. Take away that idea of energizing the pose and just let the body rest in the shape. Lift out your shoulders a little bit, just don't, don't collapse. Notice the pelvis resting into the earth. Notice your rib cage. Just try to be still as you still your body, still your mind. Receptive to a meditative state. There's that soft anchoring of the breath. Be present a little bit longer, a few more moments. And again, bringing your elbows away slowly and carefully, releasing that shape. Turn your head to the right side, support it. Draw your shoulders down. <laughs> and bring your knee up alongside you on the floor for half frog position. Relax everything. Let your eyes rest. Focus again on the stillness. Two more breaths in your stillness, in your softness. Keep 
and everything relaxed, including the bandhas. Carefully release your leg down and take the other side and balance out your arms, change that stack of the arms. Turn your head the other way, draw your shoulders off your ears, slide your knee up alongside of you. Just have a moment to refine and then be still. Counting down five more breaths, if that helps you stay present. Last one, breathe out. Start to let these positions melt away and release me back to center. Gather your hands by your chest, lift up to cobra, zip up your legs, take a deep breath in and out. And inhale, press forward and back into Balasana, bowing, exhale. Inhale, rise up to your little thunderbolt position, align your spine, your chakras, let me engage your bandhas. Let your energy flow. And take your fingers forward, hands back, maybe just the fingertips, and just do a heart lift of your own shape and size. Head lift pose. Keep a counter pose. Keep your head chin tucked if your neck is sensitive or head sensitive. Feels good to take your head back and then reach it back. Press the hands to open the chest. Twice more. Exhale, lift your heart first and release. Bow again. Coming to seated. So that same work of coming back with wings to come through, cross your ankles, press into your hands. Work your legs forward and through. How they go to me. Dandasana, sitting tall. Point your toes. Draw your toes back. Maybe lift your heels off the floor and relax your feet. Keep them lightly engaged. Reach out and now C variation. Draw in your right leg, make your foot on the floor. And then bringing your foot across the other leg. And we're going to sit up tall and twist towards the bent knee side. Both hands on the leg or one comes behind. Third breath, deeply breathe in. Exhale, four, last one. And release back to center. Oh, look, we're in little grasshopper position. So bring your hands to the floor on either side, on the other side. So on your left side, spread your hands, powerful position. Come to the outside of your extended leg foot. So we have all four of our limbs and we try to lift up our hips a little bit. Kind of like a slight plank. Lift the corners of your mouth. Gather up everything, one more breath. And release back down. And release, shake out your legs, a little shimmy. Exhale, stillness. Keep a light activation of your legs. Draw in your left leg. Breathe in, sit tall. Breathe out, bring your foot across. Again, tall spine. Come into your twist. Looking back. A little hip stretch where you're hugging your leg in. Or maybe a big hip stretch. Last time, enjoy a slow, complete breath, inhaling. 
and exhaling, moving in, come back to center. So coming over to the other side, both hands in that upward dog kind of power position. So outward spiraling, hugging the elbows inward. Come over like we're coming to a side plank. So your, your straight leg foot comes to the side. Press both feet and hands. Lift up. Head reaches forward. Clear breath. Four. And last one. Carefully come down. Release a little shimmy and stillness. Draw in your feet together, knees apart, press your heels, sit tall. Exhale, lead with your heart to forward fold. Let your feet open like a book. Resting the thumbs into the roots of the big toes. Stillness, except for breath. Exhale one more time. Breathe in, rise up, tall spine. Breathe out, come into a lateral dragonfly position. You want to just take a wide leg seated pose, find to elevate your hips on something. Yin pose, so relax your leg muscles. Slowly come over to the right side for a side bend. Just keep it really comfortable and positive so you can stay a while. And just hold the shape without activating it. Just take away any effort of doing anything. Just hold the shape. Variations are in front. Where do you feel good today? Just let your side body gently release for about a minute. And challenging our stillness today. But when you invite yourself to be still in your body, your mind can follow that lead. So if it becomes too intense at some point, just do a little bit less. Change your position. No need to judge, just take care of yourself. Softness everywhere. Notice when you breathe out again. Really challenge slowness for coming out. Be present with the sensation for a moment. Reinforce that softening in the legs and the bandhas, everything soft. And come over and check in with the other side of your body so your elbow can bend more or reach more. And that just right amount of opening in the side body, low back. Release all the hurts. Remembering that prana manifests in stillness. And that also follows the energy of attention. Using prana to create more prana. Try to be patient with yourself. And next time you breathe out, notice that very slowly release your top arm. Bring your torso back upright and just 
Sit still for a moment. Take in those sensations. Clearing energy lines to the lungs. And then bring your legs together. And lie back. Time for finishing practice. If you want to have your blanket and anything close by that you might need. Finishing. And lying back slowly, tuck your chin, resist, 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 and then go back in your back. Just let your body bend. Back for a moment, feel center of skull. And then slide in your feet. Taking feet your four pose. Reach through that right heel, activate and brighten your leg. Keep it right as you rotate and rest it. Release it open. If you want to bring your knees into your chest in this pose, you may. So take it to your own depth. Remember our center line always. So make sure your neck is long, forehead higher than the chin. out and let's cross the legs further over each other and come to twist with cross legs if it's too much you can untwist your legs and just bring the legs over to the side in another way so taking a figure four style resting twist pose just the lightest amount of energy to hold the shape Do you breathe in a deep way? Victorious breathing. Overcoming that continued patterning and fluctuating of the mind. Breathe out one more time. Mindful return to center and release. Other side, brighten, reach, bend, rest. Stay or draw in. Work with this side of your body. Center line where? Nice long neck. Enjoy the re re releasing and resting quality or summer finishing your practice. Let your body rest into the earth. Enjoy releasing tension. Feel your breaths. Breathe out, bring your foot down if it's lifted. Further across the legs. Come over to the other side, resting twist figure four style. Turning and looking away. Last breath, finish it out. And then come back to center. Releasing your legs up towards the sky. Draw your toes towards you. Reach them away. Center skull. Legs up, hands under the hips, one variation. Lift your hips more if you enjoy. Taking plow or shoulder stand if you have that practice. Head center, neck lifted, so important there. Capture spine. I'm just work in a place that feels good today and letting lift and blood reverse course in the legs. Helping keep our amrita, our nectar of immortality, from dripping away too quickly. Feel 
Continue to relax wherever you're working. Just enough energy to hold the shape. Breath or two more. And some time to release from where you are. Transitioning slowly. To knees and to the chest. And stretch yourself out for Shavasana. You can learn with practice how to come into each pose, including this one. Let your body register the support of the earth and relax. Maybe noticing that fresh blood flow into the legs and feet. Nice balance of energy and calm in the body. Breath control releasing. Return to that opportunity for stillness. Challenge yourself to be still. Be patient with yourself. Breath will continue to be supportive. Just let it be and do what it wants. Conscious resting, meditative practice. Gently anchoring yourself in the present with as least effort as possible. Let's begin our movement with a swallow. Let's release your throat. Reach your arms overhead, reach your feet away. Then your whole body gently arch. So we do a little back bend here. It energizes us. And then relax, bring in your knees. Little forward bend to palms. Return to your seat in your own way, to the side or rocking up. Maybe leaving your blanket. <clears throat> and just resting in the bliss of the practice. The bliss body. Extend out your arms, then the index finger rests lightly together. The other two fingers rest, reach towards the earth on each side. Lengthen your spine, breathe in. Breathe out, draw your chin slightly back and down. So we're sealing the energy at the top. And we also would like to seal the energy at the root. So take an inhalation gently. Try to engage your pelvic floor lightly. Feel the low belly engaged lightly. Keep that engagement as you breathe out. The exhale ends in the belly. Inhale slowly to the collarbones. Little bits of breath at a time. 
Engage the Banda energy with the inhale. Release the exhale slowly. So the exhale goes down to the root and then squeezes up into the belly fire. Last time, regular breath, and then one more deep ujjayi through the nose. Float up to fullness and float a little more. Slowly release your exhale. Letting your bandhas release as well. Let your chin come up. Empty slightly more. Hands come together. Sweep your forehead, press up, across and back, and around your jawline. Come back to your attention. I'm just present with the practice. Um, Namaste. Thank you for joining me this morning. Have a wonderful day.